I guess what prompted me to start to do the work that I've done with families and students really came because uh, as a former city councilman in Newark, New Jersey, on a regular basis, uh, I was encountered and met with parents in my ward who were my constituents who demanded educational options for their kids uh, right now. And while I think most of us want to make sure that we improve all public schools for all children, I think that we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We can work to make sure that there are great schools, public schools for all kids, but that we can also carve out public schools right now that can have an immediate impact to improve the trajectory of life choices and outcomes for kids uh, as they demand them right now. And so the key, I think, is to change the system for everyone in the future, but also change the system for people right now. It's important for parents to have a full picture of their kids' achievements and, and the things that they need to work on uh, because they're the best arbiter of what's best to solve the problem. If you don't diagnose a problem correctly and the right people don't diagnose a problem correctly, you become institutionalized. You become part of the system. The system becomes the best decision maker for your life. The, 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 the system becomes what uh, the, who, who prescribes the, uh, the solutions and the outcomes. And that's not for the system to do. The system is a means to an end. And so parents need to be given the right information about their children, what they're good at, what they're not good at, so that they can make the best choices as to, as to what resources their children need and, and what they need in order to get the outcome they deserve. That's a parent's choice. That's a parent's role. That's a parent's responsibility, not the, pos not the, not the system. The system is a means to an end. The parents are that end. I'm not sure I see a lot of bright spots uh, in terms of what the pandemic has done to bring parents and educators together. Uh, what I've seen is a lot of division. What I've seen is a lot of adult special interests getting in the way of what's best for children. I will say though that the, the bright spots that I have witnessed um, have been in a few places. And in those places, it's, it's when educators have listened to parents first. And, and, and being an educator is not an easy job. No one says that it is, but it is a calling. And part of that calling is that that teacher has to have an ear to what's best for families, even sometimes um, over and above their own needs uh, and, and satisfaction requirements. Uh, the best teacher, uh, the best parent are those that can hear each other, but place the student's uh, achievement and needs above their own special and particular interests. I think education leaders can best respond to black families and their needs um, by putting them first and foremost above any other consideration. Uh, again, special interests of adults oftentimes don't have anything to do with what's best for children. And I think the best way to respect a parent and a family's choice is to prioritize what they say first. Whether they have the background to really know what's best or not, Parents know what's best for their children in terms of the everyday life, not just what happens in the six to eight hours kids are in school. I think that has to happen. Um, but I also think that providing more choices for parents that empowers them to make the best decision making decisions possible for their kids is the also very important. An empowered parent is an educated parent about the options that are available to best educate their child.